All right, everybody's caught. We got a group pinned up here, group pinned up here, group pinned up on the other side. We weren't real sure what to do with this area. That's our lane where we can walk back and forth. No cows can get in there. We've got this opened up. We just left this, so if we want to back a truck in, we can. We may end up making some pins here eventually, but right now we got the truck. Eric's getting suited up with gloves. What are we doing today? We are worming, ear tagging, black legging, castrating bulls. Is that what the gloves are for? Or are you doing a prostate check? Bend over and I'll show you. I'm good. Uh, I believe, I think, I think that's it. Ear tagging, did you say that? Okay. Vaccinating. Excitement. <clears throat> See how tough Ben is. Check out old 5441. When she gets separated from her calf, good boy. The one time that I've seen clouds in my cow career, it was because of her. She's a good cow. Don't separate her from her baby. We call that the on deck pin. Yeah. That's no, that's actually in the hole on deck. So in the hole. Okay. So that's in the hole. What's the one you're in right there? Hole hole. That's what? In the hole hole. In the hole hole. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll go over to the on deck pin. Come on, slam latch. Alright, so they're in the bud box. First ones ever. Come on, girls, come on down that lane. We might need to raise those butt bars up. Swinging gate here. Cal, come all the way down. Come on, girl. Come on, no tag. Come on. That's a little bitty heifer cat. Swing one gate behind them. Eric circles around. They try to come back to where they came from. Probably doesn't help when I'm standing here in the way, but. So he closes another gate. Basically locks them into the bud box. Then we start sending them on down the lane.
we'll show you how our lane works. Go through the butt bar. Up in there. So this door right here, when the two lanes come together, it's got a bungee cord up top. So it goes back and forth. Eric's on shot duty. I'm hitting him with the safeguard drench warmer. You slide this up. Squeeze it. She's good to go. 38 star. 38. Nice catch. We've been sailing through some cows. Getting them worked, everything's working out well. We're down to mostly calves. Several of these we are weaning today, and then there's a handful that we're turning out that are some of our spring calvers. Slam latch. Is that like what they say shooting fish in a barrel is like? Yeah, it's Not bad for the first trial. I'll take it. What do you think of the slam latch? And the bud box, it's just very nice. It's on point. So we just dropped the calves out, took them down to a pasture where we'll got some good pins to hold them once we wean them off. What's your analysis, Farmer Hunt, of the catch lot? A plus. Did my welds hold? Every last one of them. Even my welds held. Hmm, both of them. Um, Jokes. Bud box worked great. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some times they'll turn around, but I have zero complaints. I mean, I think it worked as smooth as what a tub would work or better. Double alley gets an A plus, of course. We've done the arrow quip, so you know how that works for us. But all in all, I may, you know, there's one gate maybe that I would have moved 10 feet one way, but starting from scratch and building that, and then we worked close to 60 head total today, and we didn't have, we didn't have a single hiccup, did we? Went pretty smooth. So it worked for us. Size, capacity holding, you know, for our pasture, that was about right. Um, 
and then the loadout worked good. Uh, I like that width of the lane. I like being able to back the trailer in an area like that and open the gates up. And then that way a calf can't, you got enough room to back your trailer in, but a calf can't get out beside it. But no, all in all, A plus, y'all tell us what y'all think. Um, if you have questions about building, you can go back and check out our videos. We've got three other videos of our actual building process, but if you have any questions about it, leave those down in the comment section. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Is the house on fire? I think they're just grilling. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you think. Now we got to um, we got to get out on the end and, and do our big catch area move where our where we put our raw hide. So that's pretty much all we lack. Um, Who's the best welder? Um, Stacy Langley. Is that the guy? He's pretty good. Said? Yeah, he's pretty good. Who's the next best? Matt Hayden up in Cedar Town. Matt, Shout out. Matt's pretty good. Because, okay, who's third? I think uh, Rob that does a lot of the Gibb stuff. Okay, fourth. Um, Van. Nathan. Nathan does Van. a pretty good job. <laughs> you know, he's done a good bit of welding. Have y'all ever seen anybody this ungrateful? We've never really been able to work cows and calves like that over here. So that's really our first time without hauling them out. You're gonna break a hip. 